Hello everybody, today I'm gonna be replacing the clutch and the transmission on this Freilander Cascadia. Okay, now we have to remove the frame accessories. In this case we have the uh, spare wheel frame. Okay, now we have a lot of room to go underneath the truck. To drain the oil, the transmission oil. Okay, now I'm going to remove the exhaust pipe. It goes all the way to the field. Now I'm going to remove the air tank from here. I need to drain all the air. Remember to drain all the air freeze and then disconnect the hoses. All the hoses around the tank. There is some oil hoses in front of the tank. These are the push uh, quick connect uh, hoses. You just press this little round thing over here. Press it down and pull the hose to the opposite side to release it. Then we're gonna remove these U, uh, U bolts, U clamps. We're gonna remove them. There is some bolts over here. There's another one. And there is another one right there holding the front area of the tank too. Now I'm going to remove the air tank brackets. Okay, now I'm gonna remove the dry line. Okay, the dry line is completely removed. Now we have full access to the transmission to the bottom and the top of the transmission. The first thing I'm going to remove is the jug, the rear jug. This is a two, three quarter uh, socket. This is a bit socket. I'm going to remove it because I'm going to replace the transmission anyway. So it's easier to remove this ball or this uh, nut over here. Uh, but if you are not going to replace the transmission, you don't have to do this process. Okay, with the knob off, we can easily remove the jog from the transmission. Now I'm gonna disconnect all the airlines, the rear area airlines. Uh, remember to reconnect these little hoses in the same position. This here is another one. Remember the color and the position. And we're gonna disconnect the speed sensor. Okay, now we're gonna remove this plate completely so I can make some room to work in the top area of, of the transmission. We're gonna disconnect all the clamps here, the wires, the cables, and are connected to this. And all other stuff then are connected to it. And then we have to remove those bolts that are right there, those ones. Right there, there is two nuts, 15, 16, it's very hard to see them. There is one here, and there is another one right here. So we can remove the plate completely, and the uh, fuel divider lines. Okay, the plate is off, there is more room to see the transmission, the top of the transmission. Now we want to disconnect all these uh, brackets, there is another one in the front. There is one here, two, there is two here, there is one here, and there is one behind. And we're gonna disconnect the reverse switch plug, two, and those hoses. There is two, two, uh, those two hoses for the transmission. Remember to reconnect them in the same position. And after that, we're going to remove the bolts and hold the shifter. So there is four bolts, there is two on this side and two on the other side. Okay, all the top components of the transmission are removed. The shifter is on the side, I always try to put it on the side so it doesn't interfere on your way. Okay, now we're gonna start disconnecting all the components uh, from the bottom of the transmission. Uh, we're gonna start by disconnecting the cooler hoses, these two hoses. Okay, now we're gonna disconnect the clutch auxiliary cylinder or the sleigh cylinder. We're gonna disconnect four bolts, we're gonna remove four bolts. There is one here, another one here and there is two on this side and then we're gonna pull it to disconnect it from the fork okay now we're going to disconnect this bracket then hold this wire this one here and this other bracket then is here too okay now we're gonna remove the service plate the transmission service plate here to get access to the clutch we're gonna remove the engine the flywheel plate before we continue, we want to clean all this dirt around here, in here, and in here too. 
Okay, now we're gonna rotate the engine from the flywheel here to get access to the uh, clutch mounting bolts, which are those. Okay, we have full, full view of the clutch mounting bolts. There are eight bolts in total. There is four sections with two in each section. Uh, we have to remove those bolts using a 5.8 or a 16 millimeter socket. I just wanna say one more thing about the clutch is for any reason that you planning to reuse the clutch, you gonna insert a ball in here, just like this one, just like this ball, you're gonna insert it here and you're gonna screw it and you're gonna tie the ball to prevent the press to disadjust because we have a Eaton Solo clutch you can see that line over there that's a Eaton Solo if you have a easy pedal the one you can adjust manually you don't have to do this if you're planning to reuse the clutch anyway I'm gonna remove all these two bolts and then I'm gonna uh, rotate the engine I'm gonna remove the other two and so on until I get the press completely released Okay, now the clutch is completely disattached, it's fairly smooth, as you can see, it moves around very easy. Now the transmission is ready to be uh, removed completely. We're gonna start by removing the hard to get bolts. There is one right here, there is one hard to get bolt in here, we have to clean all that to get uh, that bolt. And we're gonna get this bolt right here, this one right here. And in the other side too. That ball right there, you can see that ball. Okay, the hard to get balls are completely removed. Now we can safely place the uh, transmission jack underneath to remove the rest of the ball. They are holding the housing of the transmission. Okay, the transmission jack is in position. Uh, one thing I wanna mention is to place a strap like this around the transmission on top holding the whole transmission to here this will prevent any accidents any unwanted accidents or any uh, problems while uh, while you are removing the transmission and place something like a rack in here to prevent anything to go inside and now we're gonna remove all the bolts and are still holding the transmission. First we're gonna remove the top ones and then we're gonna remove the bottom ones. Okay, all the transmission housing bolts are completely removed. Now we can use a small screwdriver to pray it here to disconnect the transmission from the uh, from the engine. And then we're gonna lift it a little bit to fully disattach the transmission and we're gonna drop it. Okay, now the transmission is fully open. Now we wanna back the jack and we're going to drop the transmission uh, jack so we can uh, remove the transmission from the vehicle. Just be careful to move everything around when you are um, removing the transmission in case something is stuck on the bolts or the brackets. Just be careful with that. Okay, the transmission is completely removed, you can see. It's completely disattached. Now we're gonna pull the transmission because we're gonna replace the transmission. We're gonna pull it out of the frame, the inside of the frame, to the exterior of the vehicle. Okay, now I'm going to remove the flywheel. I'm gonna remove all these bolts and are holding the flywheel on place. I'm gonna use a 19 millimeter socket. This is a 12 point socket. Don't use a different socket, use a specific socket for this one because these are special bolts. And then we're gonna play its way out. We're gonna uh, push it up and back and forward like that so we can get it out of here because this is fly this flywheel is very hard to remove from here. Okay, the flywheel is completely removed. Now we're going to be replacing the rear main shield and the motor mounts. To remove the motor mounts, we're going to remove these bolts. These are uh, one, one A bolts, both size. We have the other one, two, the other two here. But this size, we have the exhaust bell on top, so we have limited space. 
so we need to use a long extension ratchet to remove this. For this size we can use a, a impact gun because we have enough space. Okay, with the four bolts of the motor mount removed, I'm going to place the flywheel plate and I'm going to place a bottle jack right here to lift the engine up so I can release the pressure from the motor mount. Okay, the engine is up, now we can proceed to remove the motor mount. But first, we're going to remove this bracket over here using a 15 16 socket. And now we can safely remove the motor mount without the bracket here. We have enough room to do it. We're going to use a 15 16 for these four bolts holding. Okay, the motor mount is removed. I have it right here with me. It's all broken, as you can see. I have the new one here. So we're going to install this one mouse on place now we are going to tie the bolts and hold the motor mouse in place okay the motor mouse on place now the next step is to place this bracket okay the bracket is on place but before we tie the bolts we need to insert the engine motor mount support bolts and start them because if we don't do this right now later it's gonna be really hard to install them the motor mount, the bracket, and the bolts are on place. They're still loose, don't tie them. Now we're gonna tie all the bolts, all the four bolts. And after that, we're going to do the same process for the driver's side motor mount. Okay, both of the motor mounts are on place. The bolts are still loose, as you can see, but they are right on place. So now, all we have to do is to drop the engine. Okay, the engine is seated on the motor mount. Uh, all we need to do now is to tie these bolts. You see, they're loose, so that means they is properly aligned. So we need to tie the four bolts, these two too. Both of the motor mounts are completely on place. All we need to do is double check that everything is secure. Now I'm going to replace the rear main seal. To remove the rear main seal is very easy. You don't need a special tool. All you need is a pray bar like this. And then just do this and we will come out very easy. See? That's all. Okay, now I'm gonna clean the surface a little bit. Okay, here is the old seal and here you have the new seal. I always compare them before installing them. And here I have the installation tool for the rear main seal. Okay, now I'm going to place the new seal. Now I'm going to install the tool. Okay, with the tool in position, I'm going to tie these bolts to secure the uh, rear main seal compressor. Okay, now I'm going to rotate this by hand to start compressing the seal until it sits. Now with a small ratchet I'm going to rotate the uh, tool seal compressor. Make sure to do it slowly so you don't force anything. It should be very easy to go. Rotate the tool until the seal sits. Okay, the rear main seal is fully seated. Now we're gonna remove the tool. Okay, now just double check then the seal is properly seated. If for any reason you see then the seal is not properly seated, you have to remove it. But if you remove this seal, you have to replace it with a new one.